Well, here we are. This is the first morning of the record games. And as you can see, the wind is terrible out here. We're all getting sandblasted. It's cold, it's windy. A lot of vendors have not even shown up and set up their booths yet. I hope the sun comes out and maybe we can get the wind to die down because it's not very nice out here right now. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so it might get even worse throughout the weekend. Behind all these people is the grounds of the wrecker poles. And this line you see here, this is a line, I think, for the shuttle to get up to the mountain. You can see all the stuff up there in the distance. That's where the off-road games portion of the event is happening. There's just a steady stream of off-road vehicles heading up there. The tunnel underneath the highway is right there. That lets you up to the mountain. So it's about time for the wrecker pulls to start. Everyone is getting their truck started and warming up. We don't have the vehicles that we can pull setting out there yet. Rory was trying to pull one of the cars up here that we're going to be pulling and he got stuck so now Jeep is going to give him a tug and help him get through here. The sand is pretty tough. Rory finally made it around with the car. I think there's also a Suburban that they're going to put down there that we can pull. Looks like these are maybe just some junk vehicles that they towed at one point. So we're going to be taking the, the, the dead vehicle, pulling it to the end and forward, and then disconnecting the rigging, and then driving and then pulling it in the back. So whoever's the recovery. They have brakes on them. They have brakes.
made it back to the show area. This is the end of day one for the off-road games. It's the second day of the off-road games. Everyone's getting the booth set up. I will be driving the wrecker in the wrecker pulls today. The weather is a lot better today. The wind has died down a bit. It rained this morning, so that's probably helping as well. Dave Sparks just showed up with his Black Hawk helicopter. Is Matt's wrecker the largest off-road wrecker? Doesn't look like it. So, things have changed a little bit from yesterday to today, but one thing has not changed, that is safety. Number one is safety. I, I Ken, we are not going to be so doing massive shock load pulls. No more than a five mile an hour bounce on the end of that. We're not dealing with stuck rigs, we're just creating resistance and having a good time. They decided that I'm going first today, so I'm going to hook up and try to pull the Suburban. And he's got this awesome Dodge truck, M37 military truck. Here he He's just chugging it back into his spot. Look at him go. BD just showed up with the cyber truck and the bro dozer.
poles were so popular yesterday that they are going to add another day of wrecker poles and they are also going to throw in all of the rigs that competed in the YouTube challenge up the mountain as well. It did rain a lot last night, so the sand is very wet and very different than it was yesterday. So the primary objective for the wrecker portion, this is going to happen after the Bombi and the Cybertruck do a tug of war in the middle. That's the halftime show. So you guys are after the halftime show. What we're going to do is there's going to be two tug of wars happening almost simultaneously. The objective here is zero downtime. So we need to have somebody, we're, we're going to talk to somebody that's probably Rick so that then if somebody does get stuck you can get them out so the next team's ready to go. Each one of these tug of wars is going to happen is going to last about one minute long. Exactly one minute long. So what you're going to do is you and your teammate is going to be rigged ready to go over here before the before the cyber truck and the bomb even get started. I've decided to pair up with the Isuzu for my tug of war. So we're lined up back to back here. Then we'll hook up, go out there, and give it a pull. Getting out of this, Clancy.
Viking Motors finally showed up with their wrecker, but all the wrecker games are over now. I had a great time here at the wrecker games. I got to do a little bit of wheeling, a couple recoveries, and of course, do the wrecker game portion of the off-road games. I don't know if I will be back next year, but I had a great time. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.